Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to my video, How to Make Your Own Chicken Stock. Now, I am so excited to share with you guys this recipe because it's really easy, it doesn't cost you any money, and it saves you from creating any waste. So I'm technically gonna be making pheasant stock today, but you can make chicken stock the same way, veggie broth, um, beef broth, anything like that. So these steps can re be replicated for whatever kind of stock you want to use. So now usually the kind I stock, uh, kind of stock I purchase is this kind. It comes in a jar, which is great. It's glass. It's not plastic, so you don't have to put it into the landfill eventually. Um, but I want to get away from using this because it's got all kinds of other things in it, which I don't really want into my stock. It's really, really high in salt. Um, but also, I can make my own, and it's really easy. So why not save myself the trip to the grocery store and the extra few dollars? Um, and not all stocks come in glass. Some come in uh, cartons, and some come in like those little tin foil um, cubes. So I just want to totally get away from that. So the best thing about this is you use what you have on hand, and you actually really decrease your compost and your organics waste because as you're chopping up meals throughout the week, as you're chopping up veggies, carrots, potatoes, things like that, you can save any scraps and just put them in a container and put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready to make stock, you've got all these awesome scraps that you can just use. You can put them right in your crock pot. So you can see in here, I have got potato peels, I have got carrots, some kale leaves, um, all kinds of goodies. So I've just, like I said, had this in the freezer all this time. And then in addition to that, today I'm going to be making pheasant stock. So I've made a few meals in the last month with pheasant car with the pheasant, and I have these pheasant carcasses left over. As you can see, I also have some veggies in here too, um, an onion and some carrots. So I'm going to be also putting some of these into these items into my crock pot. And the awesome thing about this stock is I'm going to put these items into my crock pot, I'm gonna set my crock pot on low and then I just leave it for 24 hours. It's so easy. After those 24 hours, I'll strain it through a colander and then I'll have this awesome rich stock and I can freeze it, I can put it in a jar and freeze it, I can put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it if I want little mini ones or I can use it this week as I uh, make my meals. So I'm super excited for that. So now I'm gonna show you how much you should put into your crock pot. Okay, so I just put all of the ingredients into my crock pot. I put all my veggies and one of the pheasant carcasses in here. As you can see, it's about three quarters of the way full. So you want a decent amount of vegetables and meat in here. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up so that the water level is uh, covering the ingredients, but not all the way to the top. All right, so I am filling my crock pot with water so that all of the ingredients are submerged. That looks to be pretty good. And now I am going to set my crock pot on a low, put the cover on, and in 24 hours I will check on it and hopefully it will be done. Okay, let's see how it looks. Wow. Okay, it looks great. It looks ready to be transferred from the crock pot into our jars. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to spoon the contents of the crock pot into a setup which I have here which is a mesh colander in a glass bowl and so what I'm looking to do here is take all the ingredients transfer them here strain out all of the um, chunks of potato and broccoli and things like that and then I'll be left with a um, broth in the glass container we have this terrific rich free zero waste 
pheasant stock. Ah, it's just awesome, super easy to make. So I'll allow this to cool, and then I'm gonna transfer this into these two jars, and I'm actually gonna freeze these. So I do not have um, a plan for making anything that requires this this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them right in the freezer. I'm gonna leave myself about two inches of room at the top of each jar, and uh, then they'll freeze really nicely, and when I wanna use them, I just take them out the night before. Well, I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Please let me know if you try this, and let me know how it goes for you. Thanks so much for watching.